Hey guys, so today I have for you my review of the new Disney and Mally set from QVC. This is the Elsa edition. I did a review on the Anna edition yesterday, so be sure to check that out. And hopefully since I kind of went more in depth in that video, this video can be shorter. So I'll try not to repeat myself in terms of the story behind the products and everything like that. But I wanted to give you a close look at this gorgeous box. So that's the front. And then all the sides. And there's the front again. That's the top, the snowflake. And the bottom looks like it has information about the products, ingredients, and so forth. So going to pull off the top and much like the Anna set you have seven total products six cosmetic products and the mirror so I'll take out the styrofoam and the packaging on these is slightly different so I'll just pull out for example the mascara and the hopefully you'll be able to see with the the lighting. This has a blue foil and the Anna has a silver foil and it looks like the actual design is slightly different as well. This has kind of a, it's not really a heart motif, but this has more of a snowflake design. So like in the previous one, you get two of the Evercolor Shadow Stick. These shades are Thistle and Violet Sky. So I'll show you how I apply these in a minute. And then there is a Evercolor Gel Waterproof Liner in Shadow. There is the Highlighter and Blush Wand. This is in the shade Feisty Blush and Fierce Highlighter. And then it's double-ended like so. And then we have a mascara. This is the More is More Mascara. And then finally, the lip gloss in Elsa is the shade on that. And I will quickly show you the mirror. So it's the exact same mirror, it's double-sided. It says, follow your heart. And that has kind of the Anna design. And then the Elsa design says, powerful beauty, the snowflake. And then it has, I think, a magnified and a regular side to it. And then a the little clasp like so. So I'm not going to use that to apply because it has such a reflective surface. So like last time, I have a foundation primer, a foundation, I use the Physician's Formula foundation again, and then I have corrector, concealer, and powder underneath my eyes to set. I don't have any powder on my face, A, because I'm dry skinned and I find that I usually don't need powder, it tends to make me look dry, and secondly because when you're applying cream products to your face, you want to have an unpowdered surface because if the surface is powdered, the products can kind of bunch and not blend out very well. So uh, I think that is everything. I didn't put primer on my eyes this time. I did last time, but I wanted to see how they applied and held up without the primer. I'm expecting kind of similar wear and application. The products are mostly the same. It's just the shades are slightly different. So uh, like I said, in my last video, these are more cool toned than the Anna set. So this is Violet Sky, the shadow stick. So kind of a violet shimmer on that one. And this other one is Thistle, which looks very similar in color. It's just matte. So that could be an interesting eye look. I might end up with a more smoky look. I just wanted to quickly show you again the swatches from the Anna. So this is soft brown and goldstone. So hopefully you can see the difference there. All right, so I'm just going to start by applying Violet Sky. I'm just gonna go all over the lid and we'll see how this works. So like last time, this is kind of a more dry cream formula. It doesn't feel like 
it's very blendable and I'm going to take that same Real Techniques brush that doesn't appear to uh, have a name on it anymore and I'm just going to go over that a little bit to blend. When you blend it, it appears to take some of the shimmer down so I'm just going to go over again It's a really pretty color. They say this is more of the cool toned uh, collection, but I think this is kind of a warmer purple. So even if your skin tone is warm, I think you could still get away with wearing this. I think it would look really nice on like olive complexions. And I think I remember Mally saying on the presentation that you kind of have like 30 seconds and then it sets but I really don't feel like they have that much blendability. I think they're kind of, I don't know, a little bit more where you put them is where you have them sort of thing. All right, and then using, what is this, Thistle. And again, I th you kind of have that difference in texture, like these are more matte, but I think they need to be a little bit darker to really kind of work well as a crease outer corner type. So I think you could probably get away with just using one of these or the other. I don't think they necessarily work the best together. Or maybe I would do the shimmer on the top and do a little bit of the matte underneath. So I'm gonna take Thistle again and just try to put some of that underneath and then a Real Techniques shading brush. pretty look. It's not exactly what I was expecting. Makes me feel a little bit more regal, I suppose. Okay, and then I'm going to take the liner. I believe the shadow sticks are both limited edition shades, but the liners are permanent. So if you like these shades, you should be able to purchase them. This is Smoke, I believe. Shadow. And I will swatch the other one again for comparison. So that is Elsa on the top and Anna on the bottom. So I'm just going to run this along the upper lash line. I think these do go on pretty well, pretty creamy. And I believe, yeah, it says waterproof. I feel like with shadow this dark, I don't necessarily need a lot of liner, but there you go. I think I am going to put it on my waterline again, so I'm going to quickly do that. It's probably going to take me out of frame, and I'll be right back. Okay, and then I think that's it before we get to the mascara. So this is the More is More mascara, and again, I think this is a permanent product. This is a more defining brush. It has a plastic wand. So I'm going to wipe off the tip and I forgot to curl my lashes. This is the Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. So I believe this is just black. It doesn't have any sort of variation shade. So I'd say I think I like the other one better. This feels kind of like a stickier formula and I think I generally prefer natural brushes. The reason I always tip my head back, by the way, is that you can have your eyes almost closed so that the lashes aren't as close to your eyelid and that helps you avoid smudges on your eyelid. Doesn't always work, but it helps. You can kind of see up underneath. And then on the bottom, I usually use a dedicated bottom lash mascara because I don't really like the spidery type look. If I feel like I've gotten too much 
I just take my fingers and try to sort of pinch it off. Okay, so that is the mascara. And I wanted to show you a comparison. So they call this the Lash Defining Mascara, but I would think this is kind of a more volumizing brush. And this type of plasticky, look how much comes off on that. It's like a soft serve ice cream. This one seems a little bit better. That is them side by side. So I will do another close-up of the eyes in a second so you can see. I wanted to swatch the highlight and blush. So just twisting this, <laughs> it looks like you could actually remove it. The twisting function to put up the product is up there, but there's also the whole, I guess, component you can twist out. So that's not the best design. Okay, so this is the Blushing and Brilliance Feisty Blush and Fierce Highlighter, and I believe you can purchase this as part of a set, these shades. So if you were interested in this product but didn't necessarily want the Elsa kit, you could go for that. And I will swatch the Anna. This is Dreaming Blush and Playful Highlighter. So these look pretty similar, if you ask me. I'd say maybe the Elsa is a little bit lighter and more pinky, and also the blush is more pink. This is more coral. So again, that is Elsa on the top and Anna on the bottom. And I wanted to try taking a little bit of the Elsa highlighter. I should have done this before I put on mascara, but okay, so I'm just trying to do a little bit of an inner corner highlight. So I think that's a nice addition. It applied better to my skin than it did over the shadow probably because those sticks have had some time to set as well. I don't know if this is the same formula or not. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you in. Okay, so this is the Elsa eye look. So hopefully that gives you a better look at those products. Okay, so going back to the blush and highlighter, I'd say my foundation feels maybe a little bit tacky, but it's mostly set. And I'm just gonna draw this on. And then use my two fingers to blend. So again, pretty subtle, pretty natural. And the highlighter. The last product is the lip gloss, and this is in the shade Elsa, so I believe these are limited to this kit. And I also couldn't find a kind of product dupe, so I don't know if these formulas are exclusive as well. Okay, so I'm swatching the Anna on the, I don't know if it's gonna be my left or your left, 
Uh, but anyway, that is the Anna, more of a coral. This looks a lot more pigmented, the Elsa shade. So Anna, Elsa, and then the Elsa shades are on the top and the Anna shades are on the bottom. All right, so I don't have any lip liner on again. I'd say this shade is a little bit darker, it has a little bit more pigment to it. Feels pretty similar. These don't feel sticky. I'd say for this shade, I probably would maybe use a lip liner in the future. And that way when it wears off, you have a little bit of color left on your lips. The other one, the Anna shade, I feel more comfortable just kind of tossing in my bag and reapplying. Uh, as it wears off. So I'd say this is still a little bit too warm for the eyes. I think I would prefer something a little bit, I don't know, cooler toned. Okay, so this is the finished eye look and is now 7.09. So uh, I'm actually going to try and catch a yoga class. It's a gentle yoga class, so hopefully I shouldn't be sweating too profusely, but uh, I figured that would also, I'm um, getting it on my teeth. Good trick. That takes off the excess. I know it looks obscene, but it works. Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, it's a gentle yoga class, so it's not hot yoga or anything where I should be kind of profusely sweating. I will quickly wipe off the swatches with a micellar wipe. This is the Simple brand. And much like last time, the blush and highlighter, if I actually get the wipe where it's supposed to go, uh, that pretty much wipes off the lip gloss. You can see there's a, maybe a little bit of staining. The eye products are pretty much there, although this didn't seem to stay on as well as the hazelnut. So a few more wipes and the eyeliner is pretty much gone. That's starting to lift up. For whatever reason, the Anna eye shades seem to be longer lasting. So I will update you guys in a few hours to let you know how everything wore and to give you my final thoughts. Hey guys, so this is my wear update. It's been about six hours since I applied this look and I did go to yoga like I said so I feel like that maybe gave me an additional two hours of wear. It was gentle yoga like I said so I didn't sweat a lot but the room ended up being a little warmer than I anticipated because there was a workout class there in front of us so it was a little warm but anyway uh, I would say I think I can still see some blush and highlight. It was really subtle to begin with so that would be kind of hard to judge. The lip gloss has worn off. I actually removed it before I went to yoga because I thought it would be weird showing up to a workout class with like bright pink lip gloss on. And I will say that I do have some subtle creasing. Let's zoom in. Okay, so hopefully that will show up on camera. So I would say use a primer. You can compare my Anna video that I posted earlier uh, to see how that wore with a primer, but uh, without a primer, it's not bad, but my eyelids are prone to creasing anyway, so I would say it would probably be worth it to use a primer. And I do still have some highlight underneath my brow bone. I can still see a little bit on my cheek. And the mascara, there is a little bit of flaking. I mean, nothing that would make me not want to use this mascara necessarily, but uh, I just thought I would mention it just a little bit, nothing too bad. And to be honest, I would rather have flaking than smudging. I did have my glasses on earlier, so that's why I have some where, uh, where my nose pads were. The highlighter around my inner corner has held up pretty well. I'd say as far as the waterline goes, I'd say it's mostly still there. I think I have product everywhere I put it. It might not be quite as opaque as it was, but I'd say it's still kind of uh, over the length of the waterline. 
So as far as whether I would recommend these products, I think my opinions are pretty much the same as the Anna video. I think the eye products with a primer hold up pretty well. On me, they don't hold up as well without a primer. I don't care for this mascara especially. I like the other formula better, I think. Uh, the eyeliner was pretty nice. The blush and highlighter I don't think are anything special. And the lip gloss was nice, but uh, I don't know if you can purchase that separately. And if you could, I don't know what the price would be and whether it would be worth it to purchase. If you do really enjoy Frozen and Mally products, it might be worth looking at just because the price that you pay for all of these products is far less than the price that they would be separately. So it may be worthwhile for you. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you soon. Bye.